what's going on guys, Viper here, and I just tried this tutorial, but I had my PVR capture thingy magic over, I mean open, and it actually recorded that instead, so this is the second attempt, and uh, actually no, it's the third attempt, the first time my microphone was like, messed up, so, third attempt guys, just because I love you so much, so, uh, it's basically going to be a quick loading bear effect, and this is my failed attempt, so, uh, just going to be a quick loading bear that can be uh, used for many, many different reasons, I mean, there's, what is endless use, uses for this simple effect so let's get started go to comp make a new comp make it in 10 seconds or whatever uh, whatever length you want to suit your edit then what you want to do go to layer make a new solid i'm going to make it white but obviously you can do whatever color you want this is going to be the border the outline of the actual thing itself so what you want to do go to mask and you want to make a rectangle so just like that you want to make a rectangle any shape or size you want and uh, then you want to pre-compose this layer, so you want to go to, hang on, yeah, make sure that layer is selected, go to layer, pre-compose, and make sure I move all attributes into the new comp is selected, otherwise it will not work because it's going to move like everything, all the masks into the new comp, so click OK, and now you have a pre-composed version of that comp. So I'm now mask it again, so you want to just make another mask like that. Now, if you tried to do the other method uh, of moving it, like leaving all attributes, this would not work. You would not see anything. So, I just make sure that is checked. Then, uh, what you want to do, just make a new mask, like make it any size you want, just around it. And then, uh, you want to press Control T on your keyboard on that mask. Just like Photoshop, it'll allow you to resize it. But you want to invert it first, so just put it to subtract. And now, what you can do is just Control T again. And you want to make the little border inside, so just uh, pull it out to the sides, make a nice little border here, a nice little space in the middle, so you can put your actual loading effect thingy in the middle. So there you go, that'll do for now. What you want to do now, make another layer, another solid, sorry, and I want it to be uh, whatever colour you want on the inside, I'm just going to do white again. Make it invisible by clicking the little eye over on the left hand side, and then what you want to do is you want to mask inside here, so mask inside that little layer inside that little box you made and now what you want to do is you want to make it visible again and you'll see that we have our loading bar however it is not animated if you scroll to your timeline you won't see anything so uh, what we need to do now is animate it so what, you're going, just what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, your inside solid and you want to go to your mask or press an M on your keyboard drop it and down on a mask path keyframe for a few seconds shape click on shape right next to it and then, is this the right one? Probably the right one, yeah. What I'm going to do is copy the left position onto the right position. So that will just make them the same, and then click OK. What that will do is it will make them the same, but in a few seconds ahead. So, as you can see, it's going backwards. You can just uh, time remap and reverse it, which is kind of complicated, because you can just soft them around, and you're good to go. So, that's the basic effect. You can obviously go further with this. You can add it like a grid and stuff like that but this is just a basic loading bear effect there's a wide variety of uses for this so i uh, hope this guys help this helps you guys and uh, hopefully you can use it in your edits also thank you to any tutorial channels that do upload this and uh, anybody who likes favorites and or subscribes to my channel and uh, thanks guys for watching see you later